Good evening and welcome to a very special edition of Office Hours. Office Hours is of course the webcast where we talk about Microsoft Data Platform and usually it's brought to you by Brent Ozar, but today it's being brought to you by a special guest, me, the Count. Which count, you ask? Well, count distinct, of course. <laughs> oh, this joke, it will not get old, although my accent will. So your top voted question from uh, our cross poll gab. I did not press the right button. I have to press the button or the button won't work. Man, we're off to a good start. Technology, am I right? Uh, confused asks, which is very appropriate, Confused asks, who uses differential backups, really? I don't get the point. So differential backups are really all about how quickly you can restore. Joris says I'm dead. Well, don't tell that to the count. Uh, really about how fast you can restore. If your only mission is doing backups, you could do a full backup, say once a week, and then do transaction log backups the whole time. Uh, but if your goal is to do really fast restores, you may not want to go back to that last full backup and then restore all the transaction log sense. What differential backups let you really do is take full backups less often. You could take full backups, say, once a week, or I've even had clients who do it once a month, and then they take differentials, say, once a night. And differentials contain the part of the full backup that has changed since the last full backup. So that's really what it's for. The place where I see saw it being used for a while ago was in multi-terabyte database backups, but really that's kind of dead these days. Dead! Uh, what people just tend to do instead is storage snapshots, things like VSS snapshots, because those let you restore databases of any size in an instant. Uh, next up, let's see here, Chris asks, are third-party tools a necessity or a luxury for managing SQL Server? Uh, well, Chris, um, that's a good question. I, I, I suppose I would say, it's only so hard to do that accent for a while, I suppose I would probably say that for me, I would consider them a necessity but for many shops out there, they don't have that big a performance problem. They don't have a, a whole lot of uh, really ugly zombie queries coming after them or whatever. The queries finish fast enough. People don't care that much about performance. So you may not need third-party tools uh, in that case. The other case where you may not need them is when the server isn't that critical. When you uh, when an outage really doesn't matter that bad and end users are just going to call you up and say, hey, the server's down, go fix it. Uh, monitoring tools help you get ahead of the dead, get ahead of the problems, and then that way you can uh, react before the end users come in and get you. Next up, let's see if we have Swiss DBA. Swiss DBA says, statistics can only store eight kilobytes of data, but often it would be useful if they could store more information about the same table. Could we make statistics bigger and would this be a good idea to do? So in SQL Server, the simple answer is no. The slightly more complex answer is that you can use a tool called filtered statistics, but they don't really work that well because you have to pick the specific values that you're looking for. Other database platforms do let you make the statistics bigger, but SQL Server unfortunately does not. Hello over in the comments to SQL Dev, DBA, and DK Kimbo, both of them who say that uh, they've been busy recently. I actually been out on the road too as well, in the daytime. Uh, I've been out on the road a lot. We, uh, since Eve got her permanent residency, we've been uh, traveling out all over the place. So we just got back from Mexico, did uh, a week, or about like five days down in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. Absolutely beautiful. And the amazing part was it was easily 25 degrees Fahrenheit colder than it was in Las Vegas. Las Vegas is having record heat right now, which is why the Count Distinct does not go outside in the daylight. Count Distinct walks the dog before dawn. True story, it's 6.30 a.m. this morning. It was 95 degrees. It was already 95 degrees at 6.30 a.m. this morning, and that's when the dog woke up, and I was like, sorry, buddy, I... 
I'm not taking you for a walk. He doesn't make it that far. He's got black fur, so he just absorbs that sun immediately. DK Kimbo says, I missed all the hot tub and pool episodes. I didn't do those live. I did do those recorded. Um, when, I when I take off and travel around, uh, I do those recorded with my camera, and then I post them when I get back. So it's only when I'm at home that I do the, and, and specifically in my home office, that I do the live streams out here. Next up. We have Stockburn who asks, Hi Brent, any advice on running SP Blitz Index against the database with go 60,000 tables and over 130,000 indexes? So the Stockburn, what you will often hear Brent say is, what is the problem that you are trying to solve? Count distinct thinks you have already found the problem. You have too many indexes and too many tables. You can't just lower them because of course you can't drop tables that people are actually using. So what's the problem you are trying to solve? Go fix that problem. SP Blitz Index across the entire database is not the solution you are looking for. Uh, DK Kimbo says, I have a new puffin pick. That's actually, I need to change that actually. That is an Iceland picture, or an Iceland calendar from one of my favorite photographers, uh, Gunner, I believe his name is. Um, and uh, I need to switch it over. And now it is a, uh, for, because it's now July, now it's a waterfall photo. So I need to fix that, I suppose. Now as good a time as any. I haven't been in the home office that much since we went down to uh, Mexico. Should also turn on my Las Vegas sign. Oh, the back Batteries are dead. I got to replace those batteries. Uh, 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 uh. Next up, let's see here. Next up, uh, Pat asks, which team should the DBA be in? Devs, sysadmins, DevOps, or something else? Pat, Cal Distinct says that if the DBA's job is to keep the server up, keep it online, keep it backed up, keep it available, then they should report to the, to the uh, uh, sysadmin team. Wherever your sysadmins go to, that's the team the DBA should be at. If the DBA's job is to make the code go faster, put the DBA in with the developers, in the same team, in the same org, because it builds uh, compatibility, friendliness with these people when you put them together. If their job is to make the code go faster, but they're in some other team, then there's a lot of the finger pointing happens, and the finger pointing is, is not very good. Next up, Indara asks, is query store beneficial or necessary if you have third-party monitoring software? Count Distinct says monitoring monitors. That's why they call it the monitoring software. Query Store does other things. Query Store does things like force last good plan on something that monitoring tools cannot do. They are different. That is why they have different names like Count Distinct and Approximate Count Distinct. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, I kill me. Oh, I kill me. Next up, Tobin says, does Microsoft ever watch your office hours or read your blog? And there, are there any resulting changes? They read my blog and they laugh and they weep. I have no power here. I am just an observer. I will say that from time to time, uh, for example, recently I had something in my weekly newsletter uh, about a great link that Microsoft had, the SQL Server 2022 um, licensing guide. It's a great guide. I love it. It's really done well. I can't say enough good stuff about how good that licensing guide is. And I put a link to it in my weekly newsletter because I wanted people to be able to find it because it's really good. And it's damn near impossible to find on Microsoft's site. And uh, um, what's his name? Randolph... West, Randolph West, uh, from who works at Microsoft, read that and then went and changed the Microsoft pages to make that uh, licensing guide easier to find. So that's cool. Uh, but for the most part, no, people don't really do anything. They just kind of read and point fun. 
DK Kimbo says, I'm going to get stuck in that accent and have to do my pass session as Count Distinct. I totally, I'm all about costumes that are relatively easy to put on. I am totally going to bring this to the pass summit now that you mention it. Um, I'm not going to bring the clippy costume because as a bodysuit that gets a little bit disturbing. Uh, but the, the, for Count Distinct, it's pretty fun. I even bought teeth. I bought like vampire teeth. And I'll tell you the truth, I got lazy and I didn't want to put them on. I've had this suit or this costume, like, you know, it's hard to call it a costume, it's just a cape, right? I've had this costume sitting in my office for like two months wanting to do this, and I didn't do it. Uh, yeah, right, DK Kimbo says if I turn this around inside out, I get a little Red Riding Hood action going on. I know, I was thinking this is perfect for vampire, and then the other one is perfect for like a wolf kind of thing too as well. Could be fun. Or the devil, you know, that could be work as well. <laughs> Richie. Uh, next up, we have DBA Noob who says, is it possible to perform transactional replication from one HA listener to another? I have no idea. This is a great question to post at dba.stackexchange.com. I have a hunch that it's possible. I just haven't worked with replication, uh, transactional replication, in pro any kind of replication in probably 15 years. 2010? Yeah, about 14, 15 years. So couldn't give you any advice there. Next up, they blame me, says, online index creation on big table in primary database causing transaction log to max out. Slow transfer over to availability group replica in different location. How can this be managed? Well, it's very simple you get a faster network. This is one of the reasons that people go to the cloud. Count Distinct does not go to the cloud. There is daylight in the cloud. Count Distinct does not like the daylight. Brent Ozar, he likes the daylight, likes Mexico, likes the cloud. That's different. Where was I going with this? This is one of the reasons that people go to the cloud. You go to clouds, you have very fast bandwidth between the two. Sounds like you are using Count Distinct's grandpa's dial-up modem. That is not very good in the year. Oh, would you look at how time flies, 2024. Goodness gracious. Next up, N Try Begin Cry says, we need to test our response to CheckDB finding corruption. Is there a way to intentionally corrupt the database in various ways? Yes. And if you search Brent Ozar's blog, How to Corrupt Database, he shows you using a hex editor. Count Distinct does not play with hexes, which is are very dangerous. But a hex editor will allow you to do that, and he shows you how. Search for Brent Ozar cause corruption. Brent Ozar's very corrupt. And then let's see here, one more. <coughs> Goodness gracious, that's hard on the voice. Next up, Floydian DBA says, how can I convince our head of the company that adding columns in a certain position in the table is a bad idea? He won't listen and I'm tired of doing create and drop table statement and re-adding the data back in. Floydian, do you like your job? I would probably like my job if I were you, Florian. Money, money is very powerful. So what's the problem that you are trying to solve? If the drop and create table takes down your availability groups or something, sure, talk to your manager about that. But if you're complaining that your manager is giving you work, you should think about what happens when your manager does not need to give you work. Count Distinct does not like adding columns in a specific order, but Count Distinct does not like any kind of work. I would rather do good work, but if I can't do good work, I would at least do the work that pays Count Distinct's checks. I hope that makes sense. Count Distinct tries very hard to make sense. 
So that is about all the vocal power that Count Distinct has in order to do this accent for an extended period of time. I hope you learned something valuable from Count Distinct, and Brent Ozar will see you on the next Office Hours. Adios.